Hey guys, what's up? So in this video, we're going to be showing you how to customize that ugly black bar that you call the navigation bar. I will show you how to change the icons, the color, add some extra functions that weren't possible before, and sadly, all these methods require root. So if you don't have root, you're out of luck. The first way of customizing the navigation bar is with the help of an application called SoftKeys. As I promised, this app will allow you to change the navigation buttons fast and easily on your rooted device. Now before you even download this app, go ahead and make a Nandroid backup, please. I don't want any of my viewers to get a brick device just because a random YouTuber told them to change the navigation buttons. Now I almost forgot to mention that soft keys cost around $1.99, but trust me, it's not a waste of money. When you first open the app, soft keys will load your current navigation buttons and I do recommend that you save your current navigation bar just in case you want to return to your old look in the future. So they give you more than 150 icons to choose from, allowing you to change the back, home, recent, search, menu, drop down, and highlight buttons so you will most likely find the perfect navigation bar of your likings. Or if you don't like those icons, then you can choose from their online gallery, providing you with even more user submitted keys. Once you've found the right keys to apply, you want to apply a theme just by hitting this button and press the check button and your device will reboot and hopefully you will see your new soft keys once you unlock your device. Now a second way of customizing the navigation bar is through CyanogenMod themes. Now this method is a little more exclusive because you will need a feature called theme engine or theme chooser to apply these themes from the Google Play Store and you can only obtain this feature if you have a ROM that supports it. With these themes, they can customize every look on the Android system, which also include the navigation bar. So I have been rocking a theme called View, and with this theme, I can obtain the Android L navigation icons. It works just fine and I haven't experienced any problems whatsoever. The only thing that's a little annoying is that you can't choose what the navigation bar looks like. The CyanogenMod theme has its own navigation bar, and the only way of changing the nav bar is by installing a different theme or just going back to stock. Now this last method doesn't really change the look, but it adds a little more functionality to the entire navigation bar. So the application is called Extended Nav Bar. Now this is an exposed module, so for this, you will need to have Exposed Installer on your phone. So I provided a video tutorial that I made to show you how to use and install exposed modules. The link is in the description. So once you install this application and have activated this in the exposed module, you can swipe from the edges of the navigation bar to bring up a music player quick settings, or favorite applications. This is very useful for those who like to multitask and want to quickly switch a song, application, or toggle on a setting. So that's it for this video guys. I know that there are many other ways of customizing your navigation buttons such as, such as Ultimate Dynamic Navigation Bar or GMD Auto Hide Soft Keys, but I just wanted to show you guys what I use to change my navigation bar. So don't forget that we have a Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram which you can go check out for yourself. Now we'll see you guys at the next one. Kapow!